If you want to add different poses to your pose library from your character, you're first going to need to move your mouse to the corner of the screen until it becomes a crosshair. Click and drag up to create another little menu and then go here and choose Asset Browser. So at the minute, this is everything, including all the different brushes and sculpting tools. It's currently in all libraries. If we go to current file, you can see there's 3 d Me and unassigned. If you right click on here, you can choose new catalog or do a plus and it will bring up a new folder that you can add a new name to. There's a little star beside it, which means it hasn't been saved and you can press that floppy disk icon, make sure that it stays. So I've chosen my 3 d Me. These are all of my current poses. And the way that I have named them is by numbers. So any similar poses, they will have a similar number. I then want to make another little window. And in here, I want to choose Dope Sheet and Action Editor. So your character will probably be in a T-pose. If you can't select anything, you then want to tap this, then just the rig, and then go back to pose mode. And then once you're in pose mode, this little create pose asset window will appear at the side. And here you can position your character in the new pose that you want to save. So once you are ready with this, you can select your pose and then choose create pose asset. And this is sort of like a crouching one and I'm going to choose current file and you see that hasn't arrived in this folder it's in the unassigned and if you just want to move it you can click and drag into your proper category if you want to change the name you can click on this wheel here press enter I'm going to change a crouch like that and then it's next to this one and then going back here I can switch between the two you then want to save your file and you can keep adding more poses. So let's say that I want to adjust this pose and I think the head is a bit too straight on. I'm just gonna select the rig and then move it to the side. And then if I want to save over this pose, I can select the whole rig, right click, modify pose asset and replace like that. And then if I click between them, the face is in the new position. So you can do that with any of your existing poses or your new ones and just keep adding. So each pose that you create and save in here will generate a preview and you can see that by scrolling down over here. You can load in a custom preview, refresh and generate a preview here and then you can choose a couple of other ones. But this preview relies on your camera. So out of camera view and in camera view like this and I've just made mine a square canvas. So I've actually got quite a few different poses in here. Now let's say that I had a more complicated rig where I actually had some facial expressions in here. What I would then do is make a new catalog, rename it, and then I would make a new camera that was closer to my character to capture the face. I'm just gonna demonstrate with this one, that's what I have at the minute. And what I would do is I would zoom in and you can toggle in and out of the camera view like this or you can move to the corner of your screen like this and drag it across and then go into your camera so you can actually see what the view is while you're moving the camera in this other area i'm just going to move it forward and i want it to capture the face very closely so my facial expression on this one is actually a png so it won't actually show up in here but if i select my rig you will select your face rig in pose mode you can create a pose asset current file create and then in your unassigned the preview looks like this drag it into face and that is how i made all these poses in my pose library